Hey guys, how y'all doing? Uh, excuse me, I've got a cold, so if I sound nasally, it's because of that. Um, well, the election's over, but just like a third world, you know, third world country, the counting isn't done, which has become a real habit. You know, you remember back when we used to have elections, and uh, you would know who won that night. Yeah, well. It's like those days are long gone, never to return. Uh, all this early, what, it's election month, election two months now. All this voting going on way before the election, which uh, opens the door for a lot of great problems there. But we won't get into that right now. Um, well, a lot of people were predicting some big red tsunami. Uh which, you know, after what happened in 2020, uh, I think most wise people wouldn't hold their breath on a red tsunami. Maybe a wave, maybe a you know turning turning the house over and the Senate, which uh, I think the house was going to be turned turned over and taken away from the Democrats, and. And I think the Senate will be too. I don't know if it's gonna. If we're gonna have to wait till the runoff in Georgia happens with Walker and uh, I guess we we'll call him Warlock, this pastor who's a Democrat that likes to kill babies and is all for it. But um, you might have to wait till that runoff happens for the Senate. But then again, I don't know. I know Kerry Lake's gonna win. The media's out here been saying otherwise, but Kerry Lake's going to win. And uh, Masters out there in Arizona, he might win too. She might pull him across the finish line. Um, so we'll, we'll see with how, how all that goes. Uh, we did our part. I did my part. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, see if the Republicans do anything with what the people have given them. Uh, it wasn't as big as a lot of people thought, but a win's a win. So if you control the House and the Senate, that's good enough, right? You know, if you don't squander it, which they're good for that. But uh, we'll let, let God take take control now, right? Let, let, let him do it. You know, we, as far as I'm concerned, we did his will. Uh, we did we needed to do, but I tell you what I've learned, and and I already you you you've heard me. You know what I think anyway, but this kind of more confirms it. Half this country is in darkness. Half this country is evil. I mean they they are gone. They they serve Moloch, Baal. Satan, you you name it. That they they sacrifice their young. Uh, what's what's amazing, you know, they they don't have any of their own children because they kill them. So they brainwash the children on our side and get them to vote for them. Which it, it's amazing. They should be out of young voters by now, you know, because they kill them all. But anyway, it's just it just the election showed a lot of things. I mean, look at look at Fetterman winning in Pennsylvania. I mean, this guy's like a a mustard biscuit eating sling blade, and he won. You know, it's it's amazing. I mean, it don't matter who they put up. You know, they, they would they would uh they would they would vote for a trash can you know what i mean i mean it don't matter uh it's they're just eaten up and depraved and that's what half the country has become and uh we know what's coming we know what's going to happen we know God's judgment has already started, but 
It's how fast it comes. Um, doing his will, maybe we've slowed it up a little. And that would be God's will, too, of course, the fact that we did that, because he knows all things. But maybe it's been slowed up. Um, maybe not. All I know is he knows everything. He knows what he's going to do. We don't, but he still expects us to do the right thing. Even if it don't do any good and he knows it won't do any good in the end, he still expects us to do the right thing. And I, and all y'all got, got out there and vote, voted, you know, God bless you. You did you, you did what you needed to do. Uh, now we'll let God handle it and we'll see what happens. But, you know, I was thinking about these verses too. Like when a God, when God gives a, a nation over, you know, Listen to Isaiah 1, 4 through 7. Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, offspring of evildoers, children who deal corruptly. They have forsaken the Lord. They have despised the Holy One of Israel. They are utterly estranged. Why will you be struck down? Why will you continue to rebel? The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot, even to the head, there is no soundness in it, but bruises and sores and raw wounds. Hey, baby, you want to come here? Uh, they are not pressed out or bound up or softened with oil. Your country lies desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. In your very presence, foreigners devour your land. It is desolate as overthrown by foreigners. What you think, honey? You want down? Come on. Uh, Galatians 6, 7 through 8. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever one sows, that will he also reap. For the one who sows to his own flesh, will from the flesh reap corruption, but the one who sows to the Spirit will from the Spirit reap eternal life. It's just... It's amazing. I mean, all the, all the stuff in the Bible we've read about judgment, uh, the end times, how people get when God gives them over, I mean, we see this in our country. And it is just, uh, it's very sad. It's very sad because, you know, it wasn't that long ago the country wouldn't like this. I mean, there's always been bad, but not like this. You know, it's really gotten very, very bad. Yeah, right here, it's like this says in this right up here. When a nation turns from God, he lets them scoff at him, but then he gives them over to their sin, which causes their misery to increase. Yeah. We see it. We know. Um, I don't expect to turn around, really, but... It's up to God, and uh, I did what I was supposed to do. I'm sure a lot of y'all did what y'all was supposed to do. And uh, whether you think it's going to do any good, good or not, you went out there anyway, and you did it. Uh, you did the right thing. You did it for good. You did it against evil, trying to resist evil, which we all should. And uh, God bless you for that. Time will tell, um, but as far as the media goes, you know, there's such, there's such liars. I mean, in the Democrats, they don't have to do anything to win. When you got the media and everybody and all the big corporations on your side, you don't have to do anything, especially when you, uh, 
control hands on um a lot of these drop in the box papers you know what i'm saying um we we know what they do you know we just got to try to overwhelm it with our votes and we didn't as, as a whole as a country we didn't show up like we should have you know but that's on everybody that didn't that's on them i showed up so my conscience is clear but anyway i love you guys and i'll talk to you soon and uh don't give up i mean just remember there wasn't no red tidal wave but there is a change there's a change in the house and i really believe there's gonna be a change in the senate so it's the same effect you know just everybody's disappointed that it wasn't a, a great big statement you know but in the end it might not matter anyway right but anyway i love you guys talk to you soon